How's it going, YouTube? I'm gonna do a video on this uh, DPMS. This is an anvil, and this one here is in the plum. And I love plum on the A case with the tango down grip, which that that grip's like hard as crap to find. And the plum four in with a I think an LBE muzzle brake on the front of it. Uh, rocking the primary arms, GLX two power prism. Uh, it's been dis discontinued, but uh, man, it's one of the greatest AK scopes you can get. Uh, it, it's just absolutely perfect. I wish they still made this, but they quit making it for the 762-300 blackout anyway. If you can find one, they're awesome. Wish they didn't discontinue them, but it is what it is. And uh, um, I see online a lot of people, which... You know, the DPMS doesn't really get a whole bunch of, uh, I would say, views on YouTube. Not really super common or, you know, highly sought after. But it's just basically a, a Palmetto State Armory gun. You know, it's nothing special or nothing better than the PSA G3. It's got their hammer forged front trunnions, rear trunnions, bolt and all that good stuff. 4150 chrome molly barrels you know nothing crazy um i'm rocking an aim sports uh ak mount on that and uh, they're right now you can get them pretty decent um i like them you know they're a cheaper i usually rock the midwest industries but for these more budget friendly guns i don't mind putting those on them they're pretty good um solid lockup i love that lever um pretty decent little ak scope mount you can get them for $29 at uh, certain websites. Now, some others are in the 50s, I think, even 60s. But, like I said, it, it's a good, decent scope mount. This gun here is uh, probably one of my cheapest guns. It's, it's budget. I picked it up brand new on the broker. And I uh, got this for like $525. So, really cheap. It's not what I would call like a go-to-war AK. <laughs> it's more of a just a home defense range toy. Um, they're not they're not really built to uh, comp block standards, you know. But they're still a decent gun. A, a great entry level, you know, AK. Uh, it's definitely better than some other brands that are no longer in production. You know, I had a lot of troubles out of them. And these things here, I do see on the internet that uh, people complain about fitment. Here's an old school U.S. Palm. This is a old, old, you know, first gens. And, uh, no problem fitting. A little bit of slop. That is the reinforced one. Here is the one that everybody complains about. Um, this is AC Unity 30er. These are the German kind of imports. And these are cheap. These are good range slash almost duty level mags. I mean, they are zinc reinforced. That's not steel. It's like zinc. But these things are good. and They, they get a lot of shade, a lot of hate. But, uh, and I, I wouldn't say, that you know, oh, you can't just take this out to the range or take it hunting or even, even a home defense. I mean, they run. Can you run over them with a freaking F-250 and they'll still work? Probably not because the polymer is just a little bit soft. But they do run and $4.97 is what these things cost. Who's complaining at five, you know $5? But these do fit the magwell. And you hear you got positive lock. It is locked in and it does come out. Now these are tight. But they do work in the uh, DPMS slash Palmetto State Armory magwell. I'm going to do the absolute range mag. These magpuls, <laughs> I'm not, not crazy about them. Uh, I love magpul in AR, but not so much in the AK. Now these are equally as tight. They do lock up. But, man, for the money, don't... I wouldn't buy these. Uh, they cost 
It costs a lot for no steel reinforcements. And, and I am absolutely a Magpul fan. This is better. Um, it's cheaper. It runs. It's reinforced. But now if you want like a uh, go to war or bend the war kind of mags. These are, this one here is a polish. And this is a refinished polish. And it will absolutely just go right in there. Lock in. Very, very, very little play front to back. So the Polish surplus, good to go. And then we got the old dirty Romanian surplus. And locks in. It's got a little play, a little slot, but that's fine. Romanians are always kind of loose. Then we got the old school Norinco flat back. And these guys fit perfect. A little bit of play. Not too much. Love the Norinkos. And the gun is unloaded for all you range officers. So. But these DPMS, man, uh, if, you, if you get one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay over $650. Or, uh, I, I don't know. $699 would be my pain threshold because you can get a lot better gun for that money but if you can score one for like i did for 500 to 650 i think that that's where this gun shines like i said it, it's it's a great range slash home defense slash hunting gun if you want to get into ak's and you don't want to spend a thousand dollars pick one up they're they're good now they're not going to be a, a 40 50 000 round gun not even you know it's probably 20 maybe 15 thousand round gun maybe if you don't go out and just burn it down but uh if you're looking for an entry level gun dpms anvils pretty solid thanks for watching